Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So last week we have installed uh, this particular OS, which is the uh, my greatest uh, favorite OS, Evaluation X. Uh, here we have the Evaluation X 10.5 uh, and at 15 based. So how it is performing on our Redmi 12 5G? So let's get started. So first and foremost, we'll just start with the build details. So this is the latest uh, Evaluation X uh, 10.5 uh, based on Android 15 with the security patch of uh, 50 April 2025. The kernel here we have is the uh, same as our latest uh, HyperOS 2.0, uh, which is the 5.10.209. Usually Evaluation X uh, is known for the its uh, customization. So what exactly we have on this well? So inside the Evolver, we have uh, tons and tons of options uh, to make and tweak about your device so there are a uh, few things which i have tell uh, to you which is uh, specifically available on this uh, particular device so uh, first thing is this uh, bcr so bcr is the uh, basic call recording feature so uh, this particular uh, call recording will automatically happen whenever you do you make a call in your phone app it doesn't even uh, let the receiver to know that you are recording the call which is the great and uh, uh, sweet feature and the next thing is this uh, cinematic uh, 3d wallpaper which is the uh, pixel uh, feature like you can go ahead and upload some pictures like uh, this one the link of this wallpaper is available in the description after you do so just open and uh, go to more uh, more wallpaper so you will get that uh, 3d option uh, here but once you if you enable that uh, 3d wallpaper option the device will be a bit uh, slower uh, whenever you make some gesture or something it will be slow so uh, that uh, 3d wallpaper option you have it in uh, this uh, OS also the another one is this uh, my favorite so we have seen in some other ROM that we have uh, the boot animation option to change it by default here as well we have the option to uh, change the boot animation I have set the Cyanogen mode uh, uh, what uh, nostalgic uh, so here you have a different uh, uh, boot animation but the good part is like whenever you select that uh, boot animation you can uh, see the preview of that uh, particular boot animation in here which is nice so other than this you have uh, the spoofing option like we have seen it in other uh, things like you can spoof it as a pixel device you can uh, spoof it to enable the unlimited uh, uh, google photos and tensor features and you have the dedicated uh, game space uh, which we will see in uh, uh, another video like uh, how the gaming is there for this particular device you have the basic network monitor indicator so uh, there are lots and lots of options uh, which you can uh, go ahead and uh, play it will take one day actually uh, to uh, go ahead with that uh, customizations whichever you have it in particular each and every uh, setting so overall this uh, evaluation x 10.5 is highly customizable and one of the great rom which i like uh, till date other than this this uh, these things uh, what are all the uh, think uh, whatever uh, i have observed well uh, the battery backup wise it is as same as our uh, uh, miua you are getting around yes, 7 hours and 50 minutes of uh, screen on time and it will take to charge the device around uh, uh, two hours um, 20 minutes uh, the 5g is working perfectly fine and you have the carrier aggregation as well if you are using uh, 4g uh, you are getting the uh, two bands connectivity also uh, performance uh, related uh, synthetic benchmark so which i will uh, show you in a minute so yeah so uh, 3d mark wildlife uh, you are getting around uh, 620 overall score and uh, the average fps uh, you have it of uh, 4.3.72 uh, uh, which is same as our uh, previous uh, ice per voice 2.0 and here you have the under to benchmark so under to score you are getting 4 lakh 10 thousand which is a bit uh, higher uh, like uh, in hyper voice 2.0 you got 3 lakh 88 thousand like some 22 thousand is higher in here which is uh, great uh, you have the uh, Geekbench 6, so Geekbench 6 wise you are getting again higher than the Hypervoice 2.0, Hypervoice we are getting around uh, 792, here you are getting 898, it is almost uh, 100 points higher, in uh, multi score you are getting like uh, multi core score, you are getting around uh, 1978, so in your uh, Hypervoice 2.0 you are getting 1524, which is almost like a 400 or a 300 ish higher 
graphical wise it is same as the um, hyper os 2.0 so uh, performance wise somewhat it is having some high scores i don't know like why and uh, you are having the um, what uh, i have run it two times so first time it was somehow uh, get uh, the score was showing less and second time it was uh, the stability is almost 90 so here this um, what a stress test it is almost uh, similar to our hyper os there isn't uh, much of a difference so it basically meets all the uh, required integrity to work uh, banking apps and other things so uh, it is also uh, play certified so yeah so these are some of the tests which i have run on this device so let us see about the day-to-day -day performance well day-to-day -day performance for sure i will tell this is better than the uh, hypervoice 2.0 because hypervoice always uh, uh, what closes the apps uh, due to uh, ram management or it has a less ram but uh, here the opening uh, and the closing animation you have which I'm is oh, which is see which is great so uh, here i have run uh, um, youtube uh, instagram and then the email so these three apps are uh, now running so here i can just uh, uh, directly switch see you usually you can use uh, two to three apps max in the background background which is uh, fine and i actually like the animation when compared to hyper os the day-to-day -day performance with the, uh, this rom is fine somewhat it's not uh, bad uh, in any means so yeah i'm here having the uh, 4gb ram due to that reason i'm able to run only two to three apps uh, in the background so yeah so that's what about uh, this one so what are all the uh, problems uh, we have uh, with this uh, particular OS? well first thing is uh, there is no uh, miui camera or google camera you have the basic aosp camera this one i have mentioned it in the installation video as well so that is one of the drawback you can go ahead and install the gcam we have uh, made a video on that so second thing is uh, it just uh, heats up a little bit like uh, when i was uh, charging this device with the fast charger or something it is like going around 42 degrees celsius which is i don't know whether it is normal or not i just uh, faced uh, the heating in here so yeah and then you have uh, you don't have the uh, what a floating window or free form window like uh, if i open uh, facebook uh, insta sorry uh, if i open youtube and there is no option to uh, enable the free form even though i enabled it in the uh, developer option there is no any uh, free form option in here so that is one of the drawback of this because uh, this one particularly known for the uh, higher customization but uh, doesn't have any f basic feature means uh, that's not a great thing so overall by uh, fundamental things it just passes uh, like you have a cts uh, network uh, later no issues calling and um, bluetooth audio so those kind of things working fine so you can go ahead and install if you want but yeah it's again another uh, it's your own opinion like uh, if any one of you using uh, evaluation x uh, 10.5 uh, let me know in the comment section and let us know if I have missed any problem that you have faced Let me know in the other comment section so whoever going to install this may know it And if you want to know how to install this one I have made a dedicated video so you can go ahead and watch that video as well So yeah, thank you for watching and uh, next video will be the gaming on this one Code Moto. Watch previous video here. Subscribe